My favorite Shakespeare play is definitely Much Ado About Nothing. Is Macbeth. Because it has everything that you can love in a Shakespeare play. It has a massive broadsword fight that is just so pivotal to it. Super comedy. I personally enjoy a lot of fighting. It has really great drama. To see the decline of someone so you know, that was so great and just see them just completely deteriorate. Some tragedy in it, wonderful, amazing characters. There's something just imminently interesting about that play. The language of Shakespeare is probably my favorite part and it's some of the most witty, well put together dialogue that you can find. My name is Joel Wallen and I teach Shakespeare. I'm Rebecca Wallen and I teach Shakespeare. My favorite part about teaching Shakespeare is seeing kids especially, but even adults, really start understanding what they maybe thought was unaccessible. I love teaching kids the stories. There's so much just high drama that you don't find in other plays, contemporary plays. It's really very easy to, to understand once you understand a story, once you start getting kind of the feel for the language. Unfortunately, people have been told it's difficult, and it's just not. Studying Shakespeare, like many fine arts things, just it has such an ability to open your mind. And once you dispel that myth of difficulty, they understand these stories and are able to enjoy the, the great bounty that really Shakespeare has provided in all his plays. If a child was worried about participating in theater, maybe they were shy or worried about it, um, well, first of all, I would say just try, because you never know until you try something. Using theater to, to instruct and to, to help children is very important. There are esteem issues, obviously, just being able to be in front of people. And performing, there's just an aspect right there of being able to be a little bit out of yourself. Uh, and we have found children, uh, we usually start around age five in a lot of our programs, uh, but there's children even younger than that who can now stand up on a stage and can recite, you know, King Henry V's greatest speech and see everyone's eyes open and, and see their interest in what they're doing. And it just gives them a chance to be out of themselves a little bit, yet still be more comfortable within themselves. Also, something great about theater is there are so many different options within the world of theater. Maybe you don't like being on stage, but you could be backstage helping if you're really good at organizing. If you're a really good artist, you could help with scenery or costumes. Um, if you're really good at organizing things, you could be the stage manager. There's so many aspects to theater that if you start doing it, just start, you're going to fall in love with it. It's just a great medium for being able to express and being able to, to gain confidence. I think Shakespeare was one of the greatest writers of all time. The best advice I would have to someone who is apprehensive about being involved in theater is you can do it. Mm -hmm.